This person wanted to stay a slave? Why would he do that? Hi, I'm Vince, and I want to encourage you with powerful stories from the Bible and practical and relevant takeaways. Do you know what it means to be a slave? Most of us don't, right? I don't. Maybe your grandfather or great-grandfather has experienced slavery, and that's a horrible thing. There's a story about slaves in the Bible. It's about a group of people who had steadily lost all their hopes over the course of a couple of years. They had come to Egypt as special guests. You know, the prime minister was one of them, and the president really liked them, so they had a lot of privileges. But the years rolled by, and they forgot about God. They started to mingle and marry unbelievers, people who had a totally different worldview. And so a new prime minister came, a new president came, and those politicians didn't really care that much about those special guests that were there. And at this point, this group of people, and they're called the Israelites, they had gotten so many children that they were really a big nation. And so the Egyptians, they were like, ah, okay, this is kind of getting awkward right now. They're getting really huge. So in order to not lose control, the Egyptians started to oppress the Israelites. And slavery was the result. Their children were hunted and slain, and their lives became a big burden. Maybe you're feeling the same way today. Your life has become a burden, you're feeling depressed, and above all, there's this little voice in your head that says, oh, if God is so good, why does he allow it? The Israelites had the same doubts. They felt like God had completely forgotten them. Only a small group of people really understood what was going on, that it was their own fault, it was their own mistake that they were in this situation. They had first left God and married unbelievers. Now, you might be watching this video and you want deliverance, you want help. And that's amazing. You know what? Most of those Israelites back then, they didn't even want help. I mean, of course, yeah. I mean, if, if you had asked them back then, you would have been like, hey, do you want to be a slave? They probably would have said no. Like, of course, I don't want to be a slave. But at the same time, they didn't really have real faith that God would come through and deliver them. I mean, they were not even respecting each other and they didn't really have Christian principles. Leaving slavery and going into a new land would require a lot of hard work and a lot of new habits. But the problem was the Israelites, they liked their old habits and they lived their lives in many ways just like the Egyptians. So why leave? <laughs> God gave them more time, but it got worse and worse and worse. And then the Bible says one day, it happened in the process of time that the king of Egypt died and the children of Israel groaned because of the bondage and they cried out and their cry came up to God because of the bondage. So God heard their groaning and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac and with Jacob. Today's message is very easy, very simple, but very profound. God hears you. What you're going through right now is not useless. It's not random, okay? God sees it, God hears you, and he has a plan, and he's doing everything to help you. Look at this, then God said to Moses, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And this is the first time that this title comes up in the Bible, and that is significant. Why does God introduce himself like that? Well, for the Israelites, those three names meant a lot. Abraham, that was that person who already bought a piece of property in the land called Canaan. That was the land that God promised for his people. Isaac, that faithful husband who wanted to be buried in the promised land. Jacob, who went through so much in his life. And then at the end of his life, he said, oh, you know, when I die, carry my bones out of here to the promised land. I want my grave to be where you're gonna live one day very soon. Every single name meant deliverance, it meant freedom, it meant obedience and devotion to God. And this is God's promise for you today. I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. God knows your sorrows. He has heard you and he's working right now to deliver you. So I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up from that land to a good and large land, to a land flowing with milk and honey. You know, God will deliver you. The road might be full of stones right now. You might see a mountain in front of you and you might see a mountain right next to you, behind you. It doesn't matter. You might be in the valley of decision right now, but God hears you and he will help you. Slavery in the Bible is a symbol for sin, for the miserable life that we live without God. But if we call on him, if we recognize that we need help, he is there to help us, just like back then with the Israelites. 
So the reason for your situation right now might be similar to the one that we just talked about in the story, right? You might have made mistakes in your life. I have made mistakes in my life, right? We might realize now the consequences of those mistakes. But don't worry, God hears us and he will deliver us. All we need to do is go to him and we will find healing. And even if your situation is a little bit different, if you say, oh, Vince, you know, I really didn't do anything wrong. At least I don't, I don't, I don't know of anything that I did wrong. That's okay. You know what? They were children in Egypt, Israelites, who were faithful to God, who had not married unbelievers, faithful families, right? They were holding fast to the hope that they had, and they didn't do anything wrong. They were born into the situation. But you know what? They had the faith that God would soon come through. So let me share two takeaways with you, all right? Number one, God hears you, and as soon as you ask for help, He will help you. And number two, deliverance might take longer than expected, but don't worry, okay? God is never late. Don't forget that. No matter what's going on, His timing is perfect. If you've missed yesterday's video, check it out right here, and let me know in the comments below what you think about that story. I'd love to hear it.